tonight for this year's Luminaria Ceremony. Even though we can't be together this year, we have found a way to adapt to the current circumstances and hold a special ceremony with you today. Please set up your Luminaria bags at this moment. If you don't have one, please head to the Relay Instagram, screenshot, and then create yours using the annotate tools. Now, in the spirit of Luminaria, we ask that you gather your family, light a candle, and turn off the lights as we begin remembering, honoring, and supporting those we love and those affected by cancer. This disease is what draws many of us together and why we continue to fight together in hope of one day finding a cure. More than 30 years ago, founder of Relay for Life, Gordy Klatt, envisioned the world without cancer. He spent 24 hours walking and running around a track for a total of 83 miles. The track he ran in darkness transformed into a field of bright luminaria, each one representing a name, face, smile, and treasured memory. We honor his memory and those affected by cancer by lighting luminaria. The spirit of luminaria gives us courage, strength, and hope. Our hope is not just here for us today, it is also for everyone around the world as we all hope to end cancer one day. We may not know how long this battle will continue, but we see the advances in research, prevention, and care. Today, we remind ourselves that cancer cannot defeat us. This night is our night. Since we can't walk together today, let me challenge you to take a moment of silence and maybe walk around the space in your home, down your driveway, and to the end of your street, or to a mailbox. We are together in spirit. We, we are Relay for, for Life! life. My name is Jen and I am your American Cancer Society staff partner. I wanted to thank you for joining us tonight for this virtual Luminaria ceremony. I'm here to introduce you to our three Luminaria speakers. It is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker tonight, cancer survivor Dave O'Connor. Hi, I'm Dave O'Connor. Uh, I'm married to Trisha O'Connor, father for one granddaughter, founder and owner of O'Connor's Painting Service. In 2015, in November, um, I turned yellow. They did an x-ray and they found a great size tumor in my liver. In 2016, I uh, went to Georgetown and they determined that I had bio duct cancer and it was in 80% of my liver. So I had the surgery to remove the cancer um, they determine my type of cancer that you don't have really a, a long life. Um, so I've had multiple surgeries, uh, lung surgery, uh, cyber knife, radiation, chemotherapy. Um, my oncologist is John Marshall, who referred me to NIH because my cancer is very aggressive. So I've been on three different trials. Um, each trial, um, unfortunately, sometimes when your platelets get low or your bone marrow gets low, you can't continue. So I'm on my third one now, which is immunotherapy and chemotherapy. So, so far I've been cooking, you know, I'm still, uh, I'm still around. And so what I would say to everybody out there, is thank your caregiver because without my wife I couldn't have done this or my family or my friends and also just as Winston Churchill says never 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 give up thank you so much Dave for sharing your story with us you are an incredible example of someone who has never given up as Dave said, caregivers are so important in a cancer patient's journey. I would like to introduce you to our next speaker, Lionel Ward, a caregiver for his wife, Barbie. Hi, my name is Lionel Ward, and I'm here to talk about how cancer enters people's lives. And I can tell you before my wife came down with cancer, Barbie, cancer was just a word. Caregiver was just a word. When she was first diagnosed, I was still uh, doing music, running a calendar, teaching, and I thought I could do everything like that and still take care of Barbie. We got another thing coming. Caregivers just a word until you become one. Once they start the chemo, many trips to the hospital, everyone in the hospital is on your mailing card for Christmas because you get to know everybody and you're tied to that hospital. And what cancer does when you beat it, you never really beat it. It goes dormant. 
and then you just wait and see if it's ever going to come back. And it came back to the bark in the Steinman Center bones. And I can't begin to tell you that that affects the whole family. It affects your whole life. Everything changes. So, you know, you just have to adjust to it. And it's just like I say before, cancer was just a word and caregiver was just a word. Now I can tell you it's a life changing event. But I do know that all donations and everything that go to cancer for the research, someday there is going to be a cure. Thank you. Thank you, Lionel, for sharing with us. And thank you for everything you do as a caregiver to Barbie. Finally, I would like to introduce longtime Relay volunteer, Sue Wagotsky. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sue Wagotsky. Many of you aren't aware that I've lost both my parents to cancer. 24 years ago, when I first started began walking with Relay, I did it in memory of my mom, Ellie Domenico. I now have two great sons, two lovely daughter-in-laws, four beautiful granddaughters, and a, a handsome grandson. I walk now for their cancer-free future. I wish my grandchildren would have known my mom. I was her only child, and she always wanted more children and would have reveled in the joy they bring us each day. My mom was a single mother, working, dedicated her life to living. She loved gardening, a skill I never mastered, and traveling, something my husband Bill and I do as often as possible. Whenever I see a lovely garden, I think of how much hard work it took to make it grow so beautifully. I also see mom there in her gardening gloves and floppy hat tending her flowers. Unfortunately, my mother was also a smoker. She was from the generation that felt cancer wouldn't happen to them. In August of 1995, we returned from a family vacation and she'd been hospitalized twice while we were gone for falls at the grocery stores and around the house. She was admitted to a rehab facility to heal up. Never in a hundred years did I think she would never return to her home and her garden. I can remember how vividly the day she was diagnosed with cancer was. We were at Johns Hopkins University and she was lying on a gurney in the hospital. An intern stopped by to take a look at her and noticed her glands were swollen. Being a very private person, she continued to bathe and dress herself daily. No one had seen them. One month previously, she'd had an x-ray done in order to be admitted to the care facility and had been clean. No one, not even the doctor, suspected lung cancer. After her death, the x-rays were re-examined and the cell was hiding behind her lung. Since it was undetected, it had spread into her lymph nodes, and with a few weeks, she died. After her death, I wanted to do something in her memory. This year marks my 24th anniversary participating with Relay. I started the Damascus Relay in Maryland the first year I raised over $1,000 in luminarias alone. The event was canceled due to severe weather, and I was devastated. What about all the luminarias? To my joy, the ceremony was rescheduled the next weekend and I was able to remember my mom and all those others we honored that night. Our event is an opportunity for me to remember my mom, Ellie Domenico, and all those others we've lost. It's also a chance to honor survivors and celebrate them. I pray our children, my grandchildren, will not be affected as we are today by this terrible disease. Being a part of Relay reminds me that we are making a difference and making progress. Thank you for helping me Relay for the past 24 years. God bless. Thank you so much, Sue, for sharing with us about your mom. Every one of us has one way or another been touched by cancer. Whether you are a survivor, a caregiver, or a person who has had a family or friend diagnosed, we have all been touched by cancer. We come together each year at Relay to celebrate, remember, and fight back. Thank you so much for joining us tonight to do just that. Together, we are still attacking cancer. 
Next, we will be having our Faces of Cancer slideshow, followed by the Luminaria bag display. Again, thank you for being here and supporting the American Cancer Society's mission to end suffering from cancer.
much for joining us tonight for our virtual luminaria ceremony. And thank you to everyone who has supported this year's Relay for Life. Even though we couldn't be together in person, we were able to be together virtually. So thank you so much to every survivor, every caregiver, every participant, every donor. Also, we wanna thank our sponsors. Um, this year, our presenting sponsor for our virtual relay is MedStar Montgomery. So thank you so much to them. Also, friend of relay sponsor at Cupcakes Lounge. Thank you so very much. We truly appreciate your support. Hopefully we can be together again next year. Thank you.